Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will share with you guys more than 30 tips and tricks that will help you get better battery life out of your iOS 17 device. Now before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. Now we're starting first off with the lock screen. We have a few things we can change here that will help you get better battery life first of all we have the new live wallpapers of ios 17 so if you're using one of those just know that it will consume battery because every time you wake up your device it will move it will have a motion on your lock screen that way it consumes battery if you don't really need it make sure you just use a simple wallpaper then you will have widgets that actually need to be updated all the time like these ones right here if you're using those kind of lock screen widgets or even like dynamic lock screen widgets make sure you actually remove those if you don't really really need them and then of course our live activities they're cool and all that you can see this one right here lets me just open any of these apps from the lock screen but of course it consumes battery so if you don't really need to have them make sure you use them as rarely as possible now when updating to a new software like a big release like iOS 17, you will get a ton of updates for apps. Of course, apps will need to be optimized to run on this new software. What I need you to do is make sure that you update all of the apps that you have installed on your device. Those apps will not run as they should if you don't have them updated with their updates to optimize them for iOS 17. That way they might be consuming more battery than they should, which is actually again a really really big impact on the battery life that you get out of your iOS 17 device. Moving on into the settings app, let's head on to Siri. Siri actually plays quite a big role when it comes to battery life. First of all, you will have listen for. Now we have two different commands we can use for this with iOS 17. You can use the old hey word or just say Siri to actually launch it. But I would suggest that you don't use any of them. Most people will use Siri very rarely. So if you're one of those that you don't really need to have Siri enabled all the time, make sure you switch this off. Another thing is allow Siri when locked. Now this is actually a new option that Apple has added with iOS 17. It lets you use Siri even though your iPhone might be locked. But if you have this enabled and have enabled one of the hey commands, it will actually just drain the battery out of your iPhone because now you have Siri actually active and waiting for that command even when your device is locked and of course turned off. Moving on to screen time. Now with screen time, we also have a new feature with iOS 17. It is called screen distance. This will just keep measuring the distance between your face and your phone. And of course show a pop up here when your iPhone is too close to your face. Now I just disabled this the first day I got iOS 17 on my device. I found it a bit annoying actually. And of course it consumes battery as it's always just like measuring the distance between the face and the phone. Another thing with screen time, if you don't actually use screen time, I would suggest you to turn it completely off. Now screen time will be working in the background all the time and of course measuring everything, getting all the different statistics. So if you don't actually use it, make sure you have screen time completely turned off for your device. Next up, we're moving to seller and you have voice and data here. If you use 5G, make sure that you use 5G auto. Now what that will do is basically 5G auto uses 5G only when it's needed for performance. Otherwise it will use 4G. Now 5G will drain the battery out of your iPhone, especially if you're on a place where the 5G coverage is not that good, that will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. So if you just want to use 5G, make sure you always have it on 5G auto. Most of the time you won't need 5G on your device, but with 5G auto, it will just be enabled automatically when you actually need it. And also if you have two SIMs on your device, if there's one that you don't actually use or use very, very rarely, make sure you have it disabled. Turn off that SIM if you don't actually need it because it works in the background again, always having an impact on battery life. Personal hotspot is another one that you should turn off when you don't use it. Now, most people will have personal hotspot turned on all the time. That is actually really, really bad. Again, a very bad impact on battery life. Make sure you switch off personal hotspot. You can do that by switching off this button right here where it says allow other people to join. 
that way you can also just turn off that and save a ton of battery out of your iphone moving on under sounds and haptics here so when you go to sounds and haptics you will have here a section for haptics so you will have now a few new options with ios 17 always play play in silent mode don't play in silent mode or never play these are basically the vibrations that you get when you get notifications on your device so what i would suggest you do there are two options here that i don't suggest you use but two other ones that you can use never play or if you keep your iphone on silent for of course most of the day then i would suggest just have play in silent mode enabled that way you get the vibration of course when you're on silent mode so there's a way you know that you got a notification and of course if you just don't want to do that you can just choose always never play and you're good to go you will never get those vibrations again the vibrating motor on your iphone will actually consume a ton of battery now when it comes to vibrations you can also do that from the accessibility settings you go right here go to touch and you will have vibration here what this will do is that it will switch off the vibrating motor every vibration on your device will be turned off from here now that might not be that good because of course having those haptic feedback sometimes on your iphone really helps it makes the experience of using your iphone way better but if you just want to have the best battery life ever make sure to turn this off as well now let's quickly talk about live activities again so you can see right here if we go under tv and live activities it has an option for more frequent updates now a few apps will have this like maybe these like sports apps where you just keep track of the scores and things like that they will have this option but if you have it turned on it consumes a ton of battery like right here it says having this on might drain the battery faster on your iPhone. So if you have this feature turned on for any of the apps, make sure to switch it off. Now another thing I would suggest you do is use Safari more on your iPhone. If you have like a third party browser and you use it a lot of times during the day, I would suggest that you switch to Safari. Safari is way more optimized to work with iOS and will consume way less energy than the other apps that you might be using. Now another thing you should use is dark mode, especially on iPhones with an OLED display. Like you can see right here with the dark mode, all these spaces where there's like total black there are pixels that are actually turned off they are not colored black but they're just turned off that way this screen will save a ton of battery now go under display and brightness turn on dark mode and use it as much as possible next up we're moving to the mail settings now this is one thing that actually has quite a big impact on battery life so you will see right here if we go to accounts we have fetch new data now if you have this on push it actually consumes a ton of battery what i would suggest you do is do that manually or maybe choose every 30 minutes or maybe even hourly so if you do that manually basically you're just checking your email you go to your email check if everything is there otherwise it will just push all the time and that way of course consumes a ton of battery now what you can do is also so choose that individually for any of your mailboxes that you might have on your email now one thing i don't suggest you do when trying to save battery life on your iphone is closing the apps that you have opened in the background now of course there's a habit of doing that i do that all the time all the time i have the app switcher just cleaned just close all the apps but that's really bad because if you close those apps the next time you need to use it iOS will have to reload that app from the beginning. Having them on the app switcher, it means that that app is on the background, it's not consuming battery, but it's still there and it's ready to be used without having to be relaunched from the beginning. So don't close the apps from the app switcher. Another thing you can do is use auto lock and have it at the minimum it's possible. So go right here in the display and brightness and you will have auto lock. Now the minimum is there like 30 seconds. So anytime you leave your phone somewhere, you don't doesn't have to stay with the screen awake. And of course, if you don't lock it, it will stay with the screen turned on. That way, of course, just consuming unnecessary battery. Having this at 30 seconds will just lock your device and of course turn off the screen another thing that you will find here under display and brightness is rise to wake now this is a pretty cool feature to have you rise your iphone from a table or from your pocket it will turn on the screen automatically but that of course consumes a ton of battery so you're just a click away anyway so just go ahead and turn this off as well 
A thing that I see a lot of people doing is turning off auto brightness on their device. Auto brightness will just save you a ton of battery on your iPhone. So make sure you go under accessibility, display and text size, scroll all the way down. You will have auto brightness here. Make sure you have it always turned on. This will automatically adjust the brightness. So you will always get the optimal brightness on the screen of your iPhone. But of course, save a ton of battery at the mean. Now, when it comes to your iPhone, something I would suggest you do is that you use Wi-Fi as much as possible. Now, I see a lot of people, of course, nowadays have unlimited data plans and things like that. So they just don't switch to a Wi-Fi network, but use seller instead. Well, seller data will probably consume at least twice more battery than Wi-Fi does. So always make sure that you use Wi-Fi whenever it's possible. Also, when it comes to the Bluetooth, make sure you have your Bluetooth turned off completely if you're not using it. So Bluetooth will be, you can see right here all the time, scanning for devices around you, that way consuming a ton of battery. When you're not using Bluetooth, make sure you have it turned off. You should do the same thing with AirDrop as well, a general AirDrop. You're not using AirDrop, just go ahead and turn receiving off. Of course, something that will have a big impact on the battery life of your device will be location services. Under privacy and security, you have location services right here. And this is the way I have it configured. As you can see right here, I just have it completely off. I will just turn it on when I actually need to use it. Maybe I'm using maps or something like that. I need locations. I turn it on. Otherwise, it's off all the time. If you just don't want to do that, then make sure you go ahead and take a look at the list of apps and things here that are using your location and just turn off the ones where you don't need to have location services. Another thing that will use your location are system services and you can find them right here. So you will have a few things here that you don't need to have enabled. So there are things like, of course, find my iPhone, which needs to be on all the time or emergency calls and SOS. But there are also other things that actually don't need to be turned on like motion calibration and actually things like setting a time zone or things like that, that I would suggest you turn off completely from here. Now, something that you will see all the time on your iPhone are notifications. Now, notifications come to your iPhone. Usually, of course, you have your iPhone locked. They turn up the screen and, of course, consume a ton of battery all the time. That, of course, if you have a ton of notifications coming to your iPhone. Well, I would suggest that you only turn on notifications for apps that you actually need them. So, with iOS 17, you will have a few options here. So, when you go to one of your apps, you can have immediate notifications or the best thing is for some apps that you don't actually need to have the notifications immediately, put them on a scheduled summary so you get them once or twice a day. You don't need to have notifications and things coming to your iPhone screen all the time and consuming your battery. We're moving back here under privacy and security and scroll all the way down here, you will have motion and fitness. Now right here, you will have a list of apps that have access to your motion and fitness. Basically, they're tracking the motions you make using your iPhone. That way, of course, also using the sensors of I your iPhone, which of course drain a ton of battery. So take a look at the list of apps here. If you see any app that doesn't need to be there, make sure you have it turned off. Moving on here under privacy and security, but now we're moving to analytics and improvements. You will have here a bunch of different like analytics you can share. You can see right here, we have a huge like list of analytics we can share. So we don't really need to share these analytics. They will just consume battery out of your iPhone. Make sure you have them turned off. Of course, something that really works when it comes to saving battery life out of your iPhone is background app refresh. So go to settings general, you will have background app refresh right here. So you will have a ton of different apps that you don't actually need to be refreshing in the background. What I suggest you do is of course, make sure you just go ahead and turn off these apps from the list right here. And last but of course, not least, this is very important, are apps that consume the battery of your iPhone. Now, when you go to the battery settings, you will see a list of apps right here. At the top will be the apps that have consumed the most battery. Now, of course, if you have some of the apps that you actually use a lot, and there at the top, there is nothing wrong. But if you see an app that you have actually used for very few minutes during the day, and it's at the top here, that means that that app is actually draining battery. 
what I suggest you do, delete that app completely. Make sure you find a different alternative for that app, maybe an app that doesn't consume as much battery as that, as that one does, because of course, having like apps that are poorly coded will make the battery out of will make the battery of your iphone drain really really fast so that's basically it for this video guys these are more than 30 tips and tricks that will help you get better battery life on your iphone running ios 17. hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one